those shorts, though, you're wearing out legal these days. <laughs> I mean, they are... They, they, they would be called tights in this day and age, Steve. I believe the, the ladies are. like those. <laughs> the ladies? We, we like to think that anyway. It was very uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh, well done on that, Steve. Being honoured by the Sydney Kings. Thoroughly deserved. Thanks, Andrew. Cross White. Just a little long on his baseline jumper. Well, thanks for that because people often come to me and say, my dad told me he used to play, <laughs> like, in disbelief. <laughs> Aaron Bruce. To imagine. Dan, ball reversal back to Aaron Bruce. One bounce dribble going left. That's his bread and butter. And that was much needed. Real run by the Cairns Taipans. They cut it to five. And the Sydney Kings are not out of danger. Although they've dominated this game for most parts, it hasn't been reflected on the scoreboard. And some nervous times now for the Sydney Kings. And Ian Moose Rebellion staying with Graham Dan. Still no Grant on the sideline. Kazoo misses the layup. Here comes Cans. Great hustle from Bruce. Gets it to Dan, to Martin. Transition three, that's good. Sydney Kings off a turnover by Cans. Turn it around and get three, and the lead is just like that, bumped up back to 10. That took the wind out of the sails for Cairns. Luke Martin feeling very confident out. He's got 10 points, four or five from the field. He shot that, albeit a questionable shot selection in transition. Pulls up for the three, just goes to show the confidence that he's playing with tonight. Wilson gets Aaron Grabo a wide open look. Long rebound goes back to Wilson. Quick move. That would have counted if it went. But he comes up short. So Jamar Wilson showing his ability to get into the lane. He's in just a, a push down low, trying to stop Jamar. He's a handful of Jamar Wilson because he's got that little herky-jerky, shake-and-bake type moves. And he can shoot it well enough from the perimeter that you really got to respect that perimeter shot. So you go out, you get off balance, and he, the little fella just blow, blows by you. And on that, when he does get into the paint, he can score himself, but he, he no, always knows where his release pass is going to be so he can kick it out to one of his perimeter shooters or drop it off down to one of the big guys. Well, the Kings feel like he's the best point guard in the country. Speaking to Ian Rebeard before the game, they have all kind of respect for him. That one's on Alex Loudon down low, hanging on to Julian Kazoo. Jeray Grant comes back in for Graham Dan. Well rested. Jeray, uh, excuse me, Graham Dan did some real good things out there. You look at his stat line, it won't show too much, but he's very good on the defensive end, six foot eight. And made some good decisions on offense. Imagine wants to shot again. He's consistent. <laughs> but you know, maybe maybe he's thinking that because every time he catches it, he's thinking about shooting. Oh, that's what I was about to say. In his mind, he probably a hundred percent convinced that he was in the shooting motion. <laughs> Imagine skips it to Bruce. Grant wants it down low. Kazoo catches it up top. Crosswine reaches in. Taipan's Ty done a lot better job of on Julian Kazoo in this second half. So we take a look at it. And it's not just there's the clear foul coming across his arm by Ian Crosswine. But where they've really made improvements is denying him the ball. Denying the big fella the ball, not giving him as many touches, keeping it out of his hands. Prevention's better than cure, Steve. You don't have a problem if he doesn't catch it. Where do you get all these things? <laughs> they sound like your dad. I'm sure there's a little bit of the DNA in there. <laughs> Wilson. Comes
comes up short on that one. Ball squirts over to Warren. Loughton. Gets it over to Crosswhite. Why does that count? Because the whistle is gone. On the ring, you can't touch it. You got to wipe the bounces up. That's not true. It did hit the rim. Once, once the once whistle, whistle goes, goes, that's what he should have said. Yeah. I think that's what he meant. I didn't even foul him for one. Here it is. Now the whistle's gone, so now the ball's dead, so not, neither the team can touch it. Yeah. That's what should have been. That's my understanding. My, oh, gee, we need to check the rule book here. You know, the hardest thing is because every... Because the every, ball's live once it hits the rim, but you can't... Once the whistle's gone. There you go. Imagine. Get it into Grant. Grant spins to the middle. Oh, nice. Big fella down low. Getting to the rack. He's growing every single week. I see this young man. He's getting better and better. He steps out on that cover. Ball's knocked loose. Crosswhite gets it. I'll give you that one for free. Settle. That's courageous, mate. Hey, hey, guys, hey. No, we got Take it. a walk from Look at Jure Grant down low. The spin move. Jumps away from a very tall Alex Loughton. Still puts it up nice and soft. There's never been any question about Jure Grant's ability, but whether he was going to be the right fit for the Sydney Kings when they've already got Julian Kazoo and he had a couple of quiet games. But... He is one worth persevering with. Alex Loughton streaking to the hoop. Again, I like that no call. One hit it. Here we go. Kazoo's allowed to elevate up in the air in a straight line, and Loughton absorbs the contact and gets it. That, that non calls happening a lot more, and I love that. Grant, they send a double over right away. Bruce, four seconds. He's going to have to shoot one from the center. Gets a good look at it. Yeah. And it's in. And it waved it off. They're saying the 24 second shot clock went off before he released it. It was touch and go. Potentially a four point play, Steve, because I thought he got fouled on the shot as well. Yeah, no kidding. It was close, though, you know. It's not like it was a. Blayton one way or the other. Good move by Wilson. He's a little long off the iron. Grant goes where no other human being could go <laughs> on cute. that rebound. <laughs> and the crowd didn't like it, but all the players just got on with their business. Did they? Yeah. Uh, in real time, it was a, a real long ball. Rash with the one leg. Starting to feel comfortable in that purple and gold. A and little rats with a big one. A little Pat Reedy type move off the one foot float up. Alex Loughton with the responding three, a little pick and pop with him and Jamar Wilson. After a very dull affair in the first half, these two teams have come to play in the second and putting on a great exhibition of basketball. to Grant. His little free throw is off the mark. Jamar Wilson pulls down the board. It's been a rare miss in the last minute and a half by either team. Loud for another three. Pulled down by Ratch. He really had his heart. He's got no control. Now for right then on that three. That three ball goes. It's a whole different look. Ratch for three. That's good. Kevin Ratch. Responding to the pressure of the criticism of him. Kings need the new import. Ratch responds with a couple of big baskets in crunch time. Warren for three. Yes. This game is getting hot. Five-point game to Sydney. Bruce walks it up. Grant again. 
again with the 15 footer that rims out. Looks like Kans has given him that one. That's a shot he can hit though. He can, but now he's 0 for 2. He starts to think about it in press time, but that's what he does best. Great help defense by Jeray Grant. Ratch tries to throw it back to Aaron Bruce. I think Ratch was going in there for a rebound. Just over three to go. Loudon for another pick and pop. He's off the mark. Rebounds pulled in. Eight-second violation, another turnover for Sydney. They get it to Bruce. His lefty off the backboard is good. Again, another ugly play. Guys flying on the floor, uncontrolled, and this time the Kings get a break. And Bruce with a bit of a circus shot with the left hand, able to make it. Kazoo, poor pass. Poor passing across white, throwing it up, allowed Kazoo to come from behind and slap it away. Just need to put it out in front, keep it a bit lower. Had the front position. Ratch splits the two. Charging play by Ratch, just a little bit out of control. Aaron Fern on the floor, he's not happy with that. He's down by seven. Kings up, 67-60, 206 to go here in the fourth. Sometimes in our lives, we all have pain. We all have sorrow. But if we are wise, we know that they setting this on ball and they're coming and he's he's popping all right we're gonna we're gonna red this all right so that'll be warren jules that could be you jerry that could be you this guy's got a hedge we've got grabo in the corner all right if he can come and release you that's where we'll go we're right with that offensively horns is good all right horns is good that's a good a good drive on the rim we will get a call all right in the lanes down here. Here we go. There's a little bit of confusion amongst the coaching staff on what's the best way to handle that pick and pop. Although Alex Lowton's missed the last couple, he's been wide open, and they realise a player of his quality is not going to keep missing those. So they're going to show and try and get a rotation on uh, on the, the guy who's popping. Yeah, because that puts a lot, of, a lot of pressure on your defensive rotations. Like that one, he's wide open, and that's what exactly what they worry about. And they get let off again. Three wide open looks for Alex Lout. So over, over, the Kings over. haven't figured out. Yeah, it sure hasn't been any D that has no, stopped that. Just wide open. Just, just wide open misses, and Alex Lout will be upset with himself that he's had three cracks at it from that top of the key. And missed it. He's three of nine from the field. He's got eight Let's points. Is that Alex Loughton? Only one of seven. If they keep playing him like that, he's got to keep shooting. Well, he's got nine field goal attempts, and he's seven of them come from the three point line. And that is a shot. He came with a minute make. 42. I don't care if he's missed 10 in a row. He's got to hit that if that is what the defense is giving him, and they are clearly giving it to him. 142 to go. Kings up by seven, trying to close this one out in front of just over 4,000 people here on a Sunday night at the Kingdom in Sydney. They would have been a little upset. Not a lot of entertainment in the first half on the, in the from the game. Anyway, great entertainment with their game presentation, but they've got their money worth in the second half. Both these teams putting on a show. 
and we see that the shooting percentage is still for the Cairns Taipans. If you're thinking with a minute and 40 seconds remaining, a minute and 42, and you've held a team with 32 percent shooting from the field, you'd think you'd have a bigger buffer than a seven-point lead. So, well, it's just like you said before the game when Sydney came up with a blank against Cairns the first time they went around. They only scored what they have now, 67 points. And you're like, look, if you get 67 points, you're not going to win many games. Well, they might win one tonight <laughs> with that score. It's just been a, uh, a, a good defensive effort by the Sydney Kings, but I don't think that they would be all that satisfied. They'd be satisfied with the result, only keeping six. But you've seen some of the shots that the Cairns Taipans have missed. Hasn't been through good defense. That's just been through the inability to make an open shot. Sydney have the ball and have the lead. And they finally get it into Grant, who gets it to Madgen. He only knows one speed. He goes forward. Doesn't run any time off the clock. Warren for three. That's off the mark. And a quick shot by Sydney. And he's got to slow it down. He makes the right decision there in Kazoo. And he's still 14 seconds to go. I mean, the two. Didn't need to shoot that. No. Run the clock down. Warren trying to turn the corner. He gets a layup, and Sydney are playing right into the hands of Cairns. You can't even tell who's winning. Why would they shoot that so early? 14, 13, 14 seconds to go, and on the clock, a seven-point lead, a minute and a half to go. That's where Aaron Bruce has got to get the ball in his hand. Oh, it's going to say get it in his hands and control it. A seven-point lead oh. just like that turns into three, and it's just under a minute and 53 seconds. How not to close a game out is exactly how Sydney have played over the last 30 seconds. Talk about self-inflicted wounds. I mean, the Sydney Kings just doing everything they can against what you're supposed to do. I mean... Under 14s, you know, when you've got that sort of a margin, you're going to run the clock down. I know I had they had it to their MVP and Julian Kazoo, but wow. Hey. Let's have a listen to Aaron that. Fern. Andrew, Ian. Nah. Alex, you're going to be here. I want you to start underneath, but Ian, I want you to come up and screen. Now, if they switch with Kazoo, Ian, you just kick and pop. Spread it out. You got Andrew, Aaron, and Alex on the perimeter. They're just hitting right. hard. That's fine. All right. right. Fine on that. Then if they hit hard, you turn the corner on it. All right. So you got to pick defensively here. Just keep hard, keep hard gluing and rotating. Hey, the big thing if we need a rebound is now. Cans with a new lease on life. We've lost our clock and score in the bottom corner, left-hand corner of our screen, but it's 53 seconds and the score, well, there's our score. It's just 53 seconds. Kings in a one possession game now. Big possession for the Sydney Kings. Go game, they don't need anything quick, Steve. No. Magic could have used a little of that patience it's two possessions ago. Exactly. Kazoo trying to get to the rim. He was off the mark and can't get the board. And that's the rebound that Aaron Fern wanted. Two possessions left in this game. Wilson scoots past the D and gets the bucket. Charge! No basket! Great play by Jamar Wilson just to find a way to the rack. Explored the three. Defense opened up. He goes to the basket. Have a look. He's outside the no charge circle. Magic gets to the spot. In the context of this game, it's a long ball. I say you don't call that one. That should be two. I agree. In the context of the moment and the game and where it's at, it's one of those 50 50 ones. And well, Magic comes 
up with the defensive play. Jamar Wilson did everything. Put the ball in the basket. I thought we were going to the line for a tie ball game. And how the pendulum swings. And Ian Revere in his timeout said, we'll get a call soon. They got one. They're going to advance the ball. So the Sydney Kings will inbound it in their front court. But really, the Cairns Kai fans need to deny everything. Well, let's listen in the moose. If they don't, run four out and keep it spaced and run through the catch. You right? Yeah. Run through the catch. Here we go. Come on, boys, go. What they need to do, the Cairns Kai fans, they're going to try and deny the inbound pass, try and get the interception. If it's not there, they need to foul because with 24 and a half seconds remaining, the, excuse me, 25 and a half seconds remaining. They can't afford just to let the shot clock run down. Got to get Sydney to the foul line. Hope they miss. Imagine gets the inbound. Puts it on the floor, gets it to Bose, and he's fouled by Ian Crosswhite. Wow. Kings in the bonus. Anatoly Bose goes to the foul line. Still a lot of game left with Jamar Wilson's ability to get into the paint, draw the D. Kings defenders have pretty much got to stay at home on three point shooters. Anatoly Bose, a respectable free throw shooter, 67%. Needs one of these. Nice both, but one is a good outcome. Cairns Taipans need a quick offense. They need a score, best available shot. Second one's long, cross white. Still a two possession game. They get it to Wilson. Too long. Get it up the floor. He gets to the rim. Shots blocked by Kazoo. Wilson off the mark. Ball gets to Aaron Bruce. He keeps it in his hands. Good hits up play by Aaron Bruce. He's the best foul shooter out there, shooting at it 97% on the year. Yes, he's, he's solid and no pressure here. This game's over with one and a half seconds remaining. So 38 of 39, Andrew. That's good shooting. That's some Andrew Gaze stuff. That's good shooting in practice. He comes up short on that one and oh. misses it. <laughs> the commentator's good. Gets the second one again. And the outcome is just that. Sydney Kings 